What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cav the Gamer, No Traffic Gaming Channel, of course. Now in today's video, I got a very special one for you guys. Now, if you're familiar with the PS3 emulation running in the Xbox Series X, then you will also be familiar with some of the games that aren't able to play properly depending on where you download them from. Now, here's a question for you guys. Have you got a collection of your old favorite PS2 classic games? Now I'm talking about the all-time classics, whatever they may be. Anyway, if you've got a pile of PS2 classic games and you want to play them on your Xbox Series X, but you don't want to get caught for copyright or downloading illegal ISO image files, well, I've got a solution for you today. So today's video, very simple. We're going to be using a cheap external DVD writer that I got from Amazon. It was only £10. I'll leave the link for the product in the description of the video. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to get the DVD writer, get our PS2 games, combine the two, well I say combine, literally get the PS2 game with the DVD writer on the PC to basically rip the disc image of the game onto a disc image file format on the PC that we can then transfer onto USB onto the Xbox Series X. So in other words, basically you're gonna be making your own ISO game files using your physical copies of your actual PS2 games without the need of downloading them and trying to find the ones from the site that work and things like that. So be a really simple video. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and the programs and the steps for it. So again, guys, if you do like the video and if you do want to see more content then don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. We're back making more content. Let's go. All right guys, so this is the external DVD drive I bought from Amazon. It's a read on ass, whatever it is, 10 pounds or 15 pounds, don't know what it is, not branded, whatever. Very simple. So all it has with this to power it is a simple, oh, let's see if I can get it out. USB cables, so that's all you need. DVD drive into USB cable. Now most modern PCs, now you probably realize, don't have a disk drive able to go into your PC case. Now, these have become pretty much obsolete these days because nobody uses DVD drives anymore. So your best bet is to get an external one, cheap one, don't need to spend too much money, don't even need to go for a branded one, just a cheap one will do. And it's just simple plug and play. That's all you need, that's all you need to do. Plug it into the USB, Bang, Bob's your uncle. Oh, I get ya. You scratch my back, I'll scratch you. <laughs> All right guys, so as you can see here, the PC case has no way for an optical drive because these are the new style. The old style doesn't have it. Anyways guys, sorry, I just like touching my PC quite a lot. A bit weird. Right, get USB cable, plug that bad boy right into there. And look, the green light is on. So now, hopefully, if I press the ejecto seto button. Oh, the weight pops out. Goes out. Put your PS2 disc in there. guys so the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to go over to this website called imageburn.com i'll leave a link for the website in the description of the video so on this app pro website here what we're going to do is we're going to download the image burn app so once you're on this website here you just want to scroll down and look for the install or the download button it will be around here somewhere so if you scroll down, you've got the latest version here, the released one. So click here to download. It will take you to another website. So click any of these hosting websites. I'm just going to go with the first one. And you will get this website here up here. So you will do download image burn. And then hit the download button for that. And you will see it here in the corner load up. Now once that's downloaded and installed, um, you'll see what it will do here. Just go through the installation steps and then I'll show you the next part of the video. 
Alright guys, now back here you can see we've got the image burn app so we're going to just load up the app and you'll see it appear. Now here you're going to get a different selection of what you can do. So we've got the disk inserted into the external DVD drive so we're going to go ahead and create an image file from the disk. Now I'll give it a few moments it's going to read the DVD disk so you can see it's read it here. So we've got the game in there. Now here we're just going to change our destination. I'm just going to put it on a different hard drive as well, space. And you can see here the file is the ISO.ISO file. So we're going to call this the Getaway Black Monday because that's the game we've got in there. So we're going to hit save. And you can see roughly how big the file is. Um, if you scroll here, you get some more information. It's about a 4 gigabyte file, so that's fine. So once we're done, we're going to leave everything on max, 8 speed, don't need to touch anything like that. And you're just going to select this button here and leave it to do its thing. Now this may take a bit of time. It is not the fastest by all means, but you will see it slowly going ahead. So what I'll do is um, I'll show you the video once it's completely created the disk image file and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, so it has completed and finished ripping the disk drive into a disk ISO image file. You can see it here, the Getaway Black Monday. So if we right click the file, you can see it's converted into a disk image file .iso. So all we're going to do now is, I'm going to go ahead and copy the file. And I'm going to put it straight onto my USB into the PS2 games folder. We're then going to load up on the Xbox Series X. So if I go into my PS2 games folder, and I'm just going to paste it into here. So that's going to copy over. Once that's done, we're then going to go over to the Xbox and we're going to try and load the game and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we're back on the Xbox now. We've plugged in our USB. Um, we're going to use the Athera SX2 app. We're going to try and load the disk image game file that we've just gone and made. So what we're going to do is we're going to do start a file, launch again. Now let's see if we can find it. So I'm going to go over to my USB file will be in the D drive and scroll over down to PS2 games and hopefully the game okay so you can see it says the getaway black Monday dot ISO I'm gonna try and load that up now we're gonna see if it plays okay right we have got a fail to say load data that's fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into open the game list and we're gonna try and open the game from a directory this way okay you can see the getaway black Monday has appeared straight away here so we're gonna hit the X button I'm gonna try that out now I can see the top right corner, the stats of the game running and things like that. Oh, oh, and it works. That's it, guys. There you go. It works. Hallelujah. It's working. Check this out. So you saw how quick and easy it was for me to rip the game from the disk drive straight to an ISO file onto the Xbox, and it's playing. Wow. It works. First time around as well. But... For those of you who don't have the Athera SX2 app and you're running it on RetroArch, I'm going to go ahead and do that on RetroArch for you guys now. So we're going to go to RetroArch. Okay, now we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load the content. Actually, no, let's, um, let's load the core first. So straight into the PS2 core, which will be somewhere down about here. Keep scrolling. Right, it's PlayStation 2, PCSX2. We're going to use the Play Call app this time, not the PCSX2. And now we're going to load content. We're going to go over to D Drive, to my PS2 games folder, Getaway Black Monday ISO. So I already know the game works fine on the Ethereum app. Let's try on RetroArch 2. Let's hit the play button and let's see what RetroArch does. Right, RetroArch crashes it straight away. So that means it's a problem with the core so let's try a different core let's try the PCSX2 core I know the game plays because we just tried it on the Acera SX2 app so it's not a problem with the disk image file it's a problem with the core so now I'm going to load up the core right core is done right we're going to load the content and the D drive PS2 games and we'll try it this way current core now fingers crossed let's see what happens we already know it works on the Ethera SX2 app, so let's just see what happens using the PCSX2 app on RetroArch. Now using RetroArch you probably are going to get the usual 5 minutes of black screen. Alright guys, so after about 5 minutes of a black screen, possibly 10 I would say, 
here we go it's loading on the retro arch it's all playing completely fine you can see it here um yeah running retro arch completely fine so if you don't have ethera sx2 or something similar you can use retro arch use the pc sx2 core exactly like i've done um and yeah you're good to go pretty much here it is the game playing right now Just gonna show you guys some little bit of gameplay. Who remembers Getaway Black Monday? Such an all-time classic. All right, guys. Here we go. We've gone from the physical copy of the game, which went into the external CD DVD writer, to now. Playing on the Xbox Series X. Where's my controller? It's playing here again. Press the home button. It's running on Red Charge, of course. And yes, it is in El Ghetto 4K capture card. It's not running on a PC. Don't want to hear any of that nonsense again. But yeah, works amazing. Didn't take very long either. Now we've got to rip through all of these games next let's go so there you guys have it it is working from a cheap little 10 pounds external dvd drive that i got from amazon with the game obviously loaded in there your physical ps2 games um it works all on xbox series x using retroarch or athera sx2 program or similar ps2 emulation program so all that classic ps2 games that you got piling up getting dust everywhere <sighs> blow those off uh. get yourself an external dvd right and start ripping all your games into your own iso image files you don't have to worry about getting caught for copyright or anything like that or downloading anything illegal because you're already on the physical copy and it's for personal use i hope um so yeah your old ps2 disc collection is no longer collecting dust go ahead and rip it out use an external hard drive to store your ps2 games as they are quite big files and enjoy anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i'll be back with some more awesome content as always guys take care and thank you for watching